Hi guys, my name is Jerry Oweli from CGTM Africa and today I want to give you a peek into what we do to bring you the stories that we do. The Brick Summit is nearly underway in the South African city of Johannesburg and I am part of a team that has been tasked with covering that event. So it's nearly 4 a.m. now in Nairobi and I'm about to head to the airport. My flight takes off at 7 a.m. Passport, check. Camera, check. Accompanying accessories, check. So, off to the airport now. One advantage of commuting this early in Nairobi is there is very minimal traffic. Whereas during the day I would use at least one and a half hours to get from my place to the airport, I expect to use just about 30 minutes right now which is very convenient. I was right. It took about half an hour to get to the airport premises. My colleagues were also arriving at the time. And we are here, the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. And it's still about two hours to my flight time, so I still have enough time to probably grab some breakfast before the flight gets going. Time flew by and we were soon hitting the open skies en route Johannesburg. At just about five hours, the journey wasn't too lengthy to take a huge toll on our bodies. With so much to do, this was a huge help. So I have just finished with the immigration guys behind me. Very smooth process and a very great start to our coverage here of the BRICS Summit in Johannesburg. So I am going to the luggage section just to get my bags and exit the airport. This is my first time covering the BRICS Summit and I am very, very anticipating that experience. But I have colleagues here who are also very, very experienced. I'm trying to get, oh, let me just jump into uh, conversation here. Excuse me, guys. If you can save a second, so uh, I'm just trying to, you know, get into the mood of covering the BRICS Summit here in Johannesburg, South Africa. You have, of course, covered this summit before. How was the experience then and what do you expect of this coverage this time? A couple of things really quickly. Um, one, two things spring to mind. Well coordinated, well organized. Um, look, you're talking about hundreds, if not literally thousands of delegates all converging at one point. You've got five presidents, in this case four, uh, coming in. They've got their security, their aides, their technical teams. You've got uh, media also coming in. So all these people have to be well coordinated and that's what you find at this particular place. You understand many other countries want to join the block. So I am expecting that to generate a lot of debate. Um, and I'm also expecting to see many uh, business uh, deals signed here. Uh, from people from different countries who want to trade and especially at a time where um, business people and countries are looking for new markets, new areas of trading and new corporations. So I'm expecting that the big conference is going to be a little bit more interesting compared to the other one which was uh, pretty low key. Mm. Nice, and as a business journalist, I'm also sure you'll be, you'll be very keen on the talk about the dollarization now, because right? it's going to be massive here as well. Yes, that's a, a, a serious topic, um, and especially looking at how inflation levels are going quite across the board. So um, looking at a situation where they're looking at a different currency um, to trading, uh, to push on themselves from the impact of inflation and uh, the weakening of the dollar. So I think uh, the dollarization uh, discussion continues. Yeah, you hear it. Uh, a lot of nations seeking to join the bloc, and that is something that is generating a lot of talk here. And uh, another thing that guys are going to be very keen on, especially the journalists here, is the talk about de-dollarization because it's massive and if these countries can actually get another system working then it's something that's going to uh, grab the world's attention. So we're heading out and every single thing that is going to come out of the BRICS Summit in Johannesburg, South Africa, we are going to bring it to you. So keep it CGT in Africa. Exiting the 
airport now. I uh, guess the coverage now begins here. Honestly, uh, we will head directly to the convention center to try and uh, sort out our accreditation. Uh, it's a good thing we came here a day or two earlier because now that allows us to do all these other things that pertains to the organization and just us getting prepared to cover the break summit. So we're expecting to be very, very busy, but uh, we will make sure we get you all the details, all the deals, all the agreements, all the announcements that are going to come out of the summit. Johannesburg is beautiful and it's got quite a reputation. The city is also known by its Zulu name Egoli, which means city of gold. This is because it was founded after gold deposits were discovered here in 1886. And the rapid growth of this African city is largely attributed to that gold. And finally, we are here, the BRIC Summit Media Center in Johannesburg. From here, journalists will turn all stones available to bring you all the information that will emerge from the 15th BRICS Summit. And we do have quite a comprehensive coverage plan for you. If it happens here, we will have it for you.